This video will demonstrate the workflow for Post & Core in 3Shape Dental Desktop. With 3Shape Trios, it's easy to scan a Post & Core case and send it directly to the lab. You can do that using the integrated system of scan posts that correspond to the drill used. Scan posts can be autoclaved to avoid cross-contamination. 3Shape is the only company that supplies this solution. Contact your official 3Shape reseller to obtain a Post & Core scan post kit. Starting on the Patients page, select the patient, then click New Case. Select Lab. The order form will appear. Select the tooth that needs to be restored. The tooth will be highlighted in blue. Choose the Miscellaneous tab and select Post & Core Restoration. Then select the system in the System drop-down list and the scan post that you will use for your preparation. At the end, select the desired material. Finally, set the delivery date by clicking the Delivery Date button. Now proceed to the scan page, where you will have to make four scans. Lower arch without scan posts, lower arch adding scan posts, and antagonist, which is the upper arch in this case, and then the bite scan. Firstly, use retraction cord and or hemostatic agent if parts of the margin are subgingival. In this case, start by scanning the opposing arch to allow time for the retraction methods to take effect. As the preparation is on the lower arch on this particular case, start by scanning the upper arch. Follow the official scan strategy, which is start by scanning the occlusal surface from the molar to the canine. Then, as it is the upper arch, slowly roll to the buccal side and move the scanner in the distal direction. Finally, slowly roll over the last molar and scan the palatal side. Now scan the lower arch without scan posts. This is the master model. It's important to scan the same area as in the upper jaw for the best possible bite later on. Leave the retraction cord in place and scan the arch following the official scan strategy, which is start by scanning the occlusal surface from the molar to the canine. Then, as it is the lower arch, Slowly roll to the lingual side and move the scanner in the distal direction. Finally, slowly roll over the last molar and scan the buccal side. Make sure to cover the contacts. Then trim away the margin in the scan using the trim tool. Remove the retraction cord, dry the teeth and scan the margin immediately before the gingiva collapses. Finally, mark the preparation. You will see a blue overlay around the preparation mark, indicating the area which will be automatically cut out when going to the scan body page. If necessary, you may reposition the prep mark to obtain your desired cutout. You may adjust the automatic cutout radius under Settings page, Scan, or you may turn it off completely if you prefer to trim manually. Always use the smallest cutout area possible for a given restoration. Now proceed to the scan body page. Insert the scan flag in the prepared canal and start the scanner pointing at a neighbouring tooth. Once the scanner has picked up the position, slowly move to the scan body and circle around it to scan from all angles. Now remove the scan flag and scan the bite. Follow the software's scanning tips for the best results. Ask the patient to bite firmly and start by scanning at the most distal position, moving slowly forward. Both scans will snap into position and the jaws are aligned. The scan should cover at least three to four teeth for perfect alignment, even if scans snap together earlier. Switch to the Analyze page to confirm that there is enough space for the reconstruction between the upper and lower jaw. Set the margin line and optionally add some comments or shape measurement. To learn more, see the TRIOS Analyze Page Tools video. Finally, switch to the Send page. You will see a summary of the order. Press the Send button to send the order. Now you know the workflow for Post and Core. Thank you for watching.